Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things, and today I am going to finish up one of the swaps toward the end of the event, so late on Saturday evening. I'm a fairly slow crafter, so as you guys know, and it got to be where I wasn't able to finish all of my swaps, and I also knew that I wanted to do some bartering at the end. I had a couple of extra sets of um, my cards that I had brought for the, for the swaps, because I brought extras, and I had a couple of completed samples of them. So I was in a hurry, and this is one of them that I did not finish, and I have some comments about it, and I'm going to finish it today. So I will have up in the corner, I don't have it now, but by the time you're seeing this, there will be the uh, picture of the sample for the swap in the bottom corner, and these are the pieces. We didn't get any embellishments, there wasn't anything popped up, so I knew that I would want to do this card a little bit different than the sample was. So anticipating that, I went ahead and stamped up a version of the scene on basic white because I brought a bunch of extra basic white so I could get some stamping done of any of the stamp sets that I wanted to see a little bit differently and this was one of them so this is an extra piece that I made that did not come as part of the set and then I also have some white twine and the layout is really simple it was simply your scene centered with the sentiment somewhat centered. Now I moved, I had my turtle, I think the sentiment's down a little bit below. So I went ahead and did my scene, both this scene and the white one, with things being a little bit more, I guess more natural looking rather than structured looking. Because I don't really like, like the, the sample card has the coral all lined up in a neat little row and in nature that's not how it would work. So my plan is to offset the blue in the upper left. I'm going to leave it applied flat against the background which has the paint palette, painter's palette um, embossing folder done to it. I will then pop the white up and it will then have the edge of the balmy blue with part of the original stamped scene showing. And then I am going to add some twine. And then I will pop up the sentiment offset and it will look just like that. A pretty simple card overall. And then I will fish around for some uh, embellishments to add some sort of maybe resin dots. We've got some new multiple colored ones that I will pull out. They're Christmas colors, but I think it includes uh, a green and a yellow and a red, so I'll have to see if those will work. So for the quick part of it, I will go ahead and add the twine. All right, so the last step is for me to dig out my embellishments and decide what I want. I'm 
for embellishments. And then this is a pretty simple card that is now going to be finished. This was the set of resin dots that I was thinking would work. These would be okay, but they're a little bit too soft. These are the in colors for this uh, for 2020. So I'm not going to use that, but I will use a couple of these. There isn't blue, so it's going to have to be yellow and the red. Now, and I like that these are an ombre go to light to dark, so I actually could use the green and the yellow. So let's do that. I could use all three colors, couldn't I? Yep, I like that plan. One wonderful card for my husband. He will love it. All right, let me know what you think of this particular swap. This is what is called a shoebox swap, where the pieces are packaged up with instructions as needed and a sample card, and then you rotate your box around the whole group until everyone has done one of the cards. And in our case, we did, we had 10. So give me your comments, concerns, and suggestions here on the video or over on my blog, and I will have all of these supplies over on my blog. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.